Hello everyone, it's Nady, and today we'll be testing out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro Palette. As you gorgeous people know, this is about the products, not the people behind them. Any tiff you may have with them, please cast it away, because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. So, how's everybody doing? I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. Over on this side of the universe, it's a little bit crummy outside. Yet, even though it's like rainy and gloomy, the construction workers are not giving up. So if you can hear that in the background, I'm so sorry. And something very unusual. Well, for me, I am on camera without a lick of makeup. Usually now when I film, I try to do two videos and I'll test like a foundation and an eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to test out the eyeshadow palette in conjunction with the Beauty Bakery concealer and foundation. And I think I read somewhere that you have to have super fucking hydrated skin and I am a dry crusty ass bitch. So I'm going to prep with this Patchology perk up. Don't mind me. We will get right to the review in just a second. Holy shit. It looks like a cum shot in a hayfield. Look at that. Oh, God, okay. Don't know, do they go like that? Is that correct or is that backwards? Uh, that? Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, this is worse than putting on a contact. Ooh, that feels good, though. Very nice. All right, anyway, back to the Norvina palette. I'm so stoked. So, normally I open up trying to look like a snack and holding up the product that I'm gonna review, but today I didn't. And that is because I just wanted to show you how Beauty Base sent my package. Oh, my God, I love them. No, this is not sponsored, but I do try to order as much as I can because if I don't like it, they have a fabulous return policy and shipping is typically really, really quick, like one or two days. So this is what it looks like. It came in a nice big box and then there's a separate box inside. It's very fancy. And then it comes in a package like this, very prettily wrapped. Is prettily a word? I feel like we've had this prettily issue before. I don't know if it's a word or not, but Let's go ahead and open this up. This bitch is kind of girthy, like, oh, damn. Oh, poor Ron is scared of the bubble wrap. Oh, come here, baby. One moment, we must break for my puppy. Oh, he's scared. Oh my God, he's got his tail between his legs. Come here, please. Come here, Ron. Oh my God, this is how I've had to call like all of my boyfriends. Beg them to come see me. Oh yes, you little hamburger. Oh, Ron. Oh, see, it's just bubble wrap. There's nothing to be scared of. Oh God, yes. Oh, he got the snoot. Oh, oh, so handsome. Okay, Ron, get any burps out. Oh, all right, Ron, say hi. You're not even looking at the camera. Say hi, Ron. Okay, he doesn't care. Go to bed. That's all you really care about. These are sliding down my face. Let's continue. So here we have the palette. It is very, very pretty packaging, I gotta admit. And I was very confused about the naming of this because obviously Norvina is now the head of Anastasia, but I didn't understand why there was this palette, plus we have the original Norvina palette. Like, that shit is confusing as fuck. So I'm not quite sure, I'm still confused. Like, I know this isn't a pro pigment palette, but just based off the name, maybe I would've called this maybe volume two? Seeing how we had a volume one, I don't know. If anybody really knows the background of that, please let me know down in the comments below. But I'm super pumped because unlike this guy, the new one actually has some really pretty purples in it. This palette was pretty, but it certainly did not quench my thirst for purple. We all know I'm a thirsty bitch. But it looks like in this baby, oh my god, it's very hard to read. I think it says you get 25 deluxe size. Ooh, deluxe size. Anybody who says bigger is not better is a dirty ass liar. Anyways, 25 deluxe size, high performance performance shades for professional grade artistry with maximum path. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense to me because these palettes are very good and I have used them in a professional setting, but this one is actually made for pros, hence the reason it's called a pro pigment palette. So yay, all right. I still don't really understand why it wasn't just the ABH pro palette, but whatever. And before we hop online and look at the specs of this, let's open this daddy up. Oh, all right. Ooh, ooh, oh. This does feel very, very nice. Super good-ish quality. I mean, I think it is acrylic, but this is definitely something that I'd be okay putting in a makeup bag. It feels like it could take a good pounding. Like, she is a sturdy bitch. I do, though, wish that maybe it was metal. I mean, we are paying, what, almost 70 bucks for this? I feel like maybe they could have popped for a tin case. But at the same time, the plastic might actually be a little bit more durable, so I'm not sure. Anyways, let me see if there's anything on the back that we need to know. Looks like this is cruelty-free. They are a recycling lab. This is an 18-month shelf life. You yeah, know, I keep on seeing new little symbols pop up everywhere. I'm not sure what this little face is. I did find out that this one means read the fucking directions, which to me probably means that there's a lot of these that aren't eye safe. That's kind of what a pigment palette is. It's things that aren't technically eye safe, but we all still apply to our eyes anyways. Says dermatologist tested, which doesn't mean a fucking thing. Oh yes. Okay.
Okay, so this teeny tiny little chunk right here is all of the eyeshadows. This giant thing is all of the pressed pigments. And by law, they have to be called pressed pigments because they may have dyes in them, which typically perform fabulously on the eyes, but we're really not allowed to label anything that could technically dye your skin as an eyeshadow. So just keep in mind that because these do have dyes in them, they may stain your skin. I don't have an issue with that. I'm very used to that. And a little trick that I do that sometimes stops them from staining is apply foundation to my eye and then concealer and then set it with a powder and then put my primer over that. And usually I'll use like a paint powder or something really, really thick. And all of those layers together usually kind of creates a barrier between the shadow and my eye skin and sometimes stops it from staining. Not all the time, but most of the time. Any fucking who, let's pop into this. This does have a little shadow condom right here. Let's get that out. Eh. Ooh, there it goes. And here we go. Oh my God, it's so big. I have to fucking balance it on my shoulder. <gasps> there we go. Wow. That's actually really, really pretty. Oh my God, you can tell I'm wearing shorts. Hi, legs. Oh, and there's my coffee mug and my cereal bowl. Okay, anyways, back to this palette. It is very, very attractive. I'm quite surprised. Not that I didn't think I would like it, but online things always look a million times prettier, but this actually looks very pretty in person. Quite possibly prettier than any of these kinds of palettes that they came out with. I don't know if it's the packaging, the design, but this part is very shiny and it's kind of giving it a luxurious feeling. But it might also be the fact that I am a purple whore and I see a lot of purples in there. Ooh. Wow, I really like this. Although I will say that when I do makeup on other people, I typically don't do like big bold colors. I try to stick to like more nude colors. And so I don't know that I would really use this in a professional setting. At least that's me. I know there's like a million professional nude palettes out there. And really the only kind of nudes I ask for are via text. But if they came out with a nude palette, I would probably buy it. Like a Morphe 35O palette, but with their formula. But ooh, fuck, I love this. Okay, so now that we've seen, oh my God, even though I was literally just talking about how big the mirror was, I'm just looking at it. That is a huge mirror. Wow, I like it. Okay, these little bitches need to come off. I love them, but they're sliding down my face. Oh God, so many sex jokes come to mind. All right, that is a little bit better. Okay, now we can hop our little asses online. Okay, even though I ordered this from Beauty Bay, I am going to go to the Ulta website because they are kind of brutally honest there and I love that. So on their website, this retails for $60. Wow. But these pans are quite large, so I do understand the price and it looks like it has four and a half out of five stars. Fuck me sideways. That is very good. Why you'll love it. This contains 25 pigments. Oh, we already read that. Cruelty free and vegan. Yay. How to use. Little pressure is needed when picking up the product. That is very good to know. They do suggest that you use the Anastasia primer, which I do not have. I just have my NYX painter pot. Oh, okay. They say apply any of the bright shades to the cheek area as a blush. So maybe that's what the little face logo meant. Mix shades together to create your own custom shades. Mist brush with a setting spray after picking up product for a more intense payoff of shimmer and metallic shades. Let's get into the reviews here, starting with the lowest ratings. Made in China, 17 pressed pigments, repeat colors. Are they usually made in China? I thought they were usually made in like France or something. No, these ones are made in the USA. No, this does say made in China. I personally don't give a rat's hole where it's made, as long as the ingredients are safe and the product works fine. But I wonder why this is made in China and this is made here. They keep saying that 17 of the 25 shadows are not intended to be used around the eyes because they are pressed pigments, which a lot of palettes are like that, yet we still use them around the eyes. It's just a legality. This palette is very similar to some of their recent palettes, but the metallics are incredibly gorgeous and the purples are super versatile. Oh, this only has 10 reviews so far. This bitch is new. Okay, so let's move on to the five star. This one says, someone said they were shocked about the amount of pigments in this palette. They must be talking about the one one star, but they did not do their research. This is called a pro pigment palette, so of course there'll be pigments. Yes, they stain, but that's not a con for them. The palette has an amazing color selection, great pan size, amazing formula, beautiful packaging, and they blend very, very well. No fallout whatsoever. No chalkiness. This person was a collector of Anastasia palettes, ending with Norvina. Sadly, they lost all their palettes and won't say why. Oh my god, that sounds like a very juicy story that they're not telling us. This looks exactly like how it does in pictures. They're super duper happy with it. It doesn't seem like any of these colors are fillers. Okay, so it sounds like for the most part, except for that one person who did 
didn't know that the Pro Pigment palette had pigments in it. It seems like pretty much everybody likes it. So that makes me super fucking excited to try this. Let's go ahead and do a few live swatches before I actually do the arm swatches. Oh my god, I'm spitting all over this mirror. That is gross. So I think I want to try A5, which does kind of look very similar to what we got in, what was it, the Alyssa or the Riviera palette? Hold on. I have my miniature collection of Anastasia palettes here, and I feel like both the Alyssa palette and the Riviera has a very bright pink in it. There's that one in the Alyssa palette. It's kind of a bubble gum. And then there is Bahamas in the Riviera palette. No, this one is definitely different because it is a pressed pigment. You can actually make it a little bit more neon, which I don't know if these are pressed pigments, but these are definitely more on the bubblegum side. So yay for that. Okay, I'm done comparing. Let's just enjoy this. So let's go ahead and dip into A3. Ooh, that feels very, very, very soft. Incredible pigmentation. That was with very, very lightly dipping my finger in. Then let's go in with A5. I'm gonna go in super gently. Once again, lots of pigment there. Um, let's try C2. Ooh, oh my god. That is outstanding. And then lastly, maybe do E2. <gasps> <sighs> okay, so normally I don't address mattes as being creamy because they aren't oily like shimmers are, but these actually do feel creamy, like all of them, both the mattes and the shimmers. So let's just swatch them right here on my hand. I have no primer down or anything. Oh my god. Oh, this is doing things to my groin. <gasps> that is incredible. Holy shit. I have no idea how they perform on a brush. I mean, swatches really don't mean jack shit, but as far as swatching goes, that has me so fucking wet right now. And I promise I do not suck any dick on this channel. Like, if something sucks, I will let you know, but... Oh my god. Like, there's no ashiness to them whatsoever. They seem to be sticking to my hand pretty well. Let me give them a little blow. <sighs> Whew, been a long time since I've had to blow anything. But no, even after I blew them, they're still there. Let me see how they kind of blend out. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. How many fucking times have I said pretty? Jeez. So let me go ahead and wipe this off my hands and we can go ahead and do actual swatches and a look with this little bitch. You guys know the song. Are you ready? It's swatching time. <laughs> All right. First up, we have rows A and B and I'm not gonna lie. These swatches are like offensively gorgeous. Like look at how pretty that shit is. Everything did go on very, very beautifully, super easily. Like those live swatches, these all just felt so creamy. The only issues that I had were with B4 and B5, these last two right here. I did have to go over them and kind of rub them in because at least with swatching, they were just kind of splotchy. I don't know if it was my finger or what, but those two in particular, those were the only ones that I had an issue with. Otherwise, like these shits are gorgeous. Oh my God, what the fuck? <sighs> Holy hell, my makeup wipe is like molting like a parrot in heat. And this is just a makeup removing cloth with water on it. They're like four for 10 bucks on Amazon. And that actually took away everything. Like there is no staining at all. And those are the colors that I thought would stain. So I don't know if I just didn't leave them on long enough to actually sink into my skin, but we've swatched a lot of like pinks and purples on here that I could have on for like 10 seconds and they would have already stained my skin. So that's very curious. I'm surprised, a little bit happy and quite shocked. Up next, we have rows C and D, and holy shit, can we get some claps for D2? That one is so fucking pretty. I don't know if you can tell that it has a duochrome, but it goes from like a very pretty, almost aquatic blue to like a pinky purple. So damn pretty. I mean, all of these look really, really pretty, and I'm kind of surprised about that white. A lot of times, whites just don't work for me. They're either really powdery, kind of go on invisibly, invisibly, invisible. I don't know. They don't show up. But that's showed up really well. This blue, it is a little bit patchy. I'm not sure if it has, I believe it's called like ferric ferrocyanide in it, which is kind of like a stickier blue, but when it gets wet, it kind of transforms. So keep that in mind if you are going to be putting it on maybe a damp primer. So anyways, I do think these are really, really good. I think the black maybe could have swatched a little bit better, but it's just a swatch. Their blacks always perform really, really well. So I'm sure this one will too. But yeah, I am just, oh, I'm speechless. We all know the only only time Nady's speechless is when there's a dick in his mouth. <laughs> but as far as staining goes, at least on the hands, we have been very lucky so far. So let's just do the last swatches live. This is E1 through 5. So here we have E1, there we have E2, 
E3, E4, and E5. I probably could have done those a little bit farther up on my palm, but those are amazing. Oh my God. Especially that orange. Look at that. Ugh. We all know that I fucking adore color, but now that it's starting to get fall-like out, oh my god, I might actually use that orange today and maybe that reddish brown. Ooh, a huge part of me wants to dive tits first into these purples, but no, I think we might actually keep it more on the nude glam side. Or not nude glam, but less colorful glam. It doesn't look like any of those stained, at least not that I can see. I'm fucking flabbergasted. Last time I was this shocked is when I made it out of college without an STD. But like I said, even though those swatched fantabulously, they might perform like shit on a brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and film my other video. I'll come back with a full face of foundation on and we can dive into a look. I will see you sexy beasts in one second. And we are back. I am looking very bronze today, but I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with this NYX shadow base. We'll get that nice and blended in and I'm not gonna set this with any kind of powder. Okay. So so for me, because this is a pro palette, the colors that I would reach for on clients would probably be like this section down here. Maybe that one. I don't know. Probably anything but the bright colors. Just because people's makeup that I've done want like neutral colors. So I think that's what I'm going to reach for today. So let's go ahead and dip into D3. And I'm going to take that with a packer brush. And I'm going to start by placing that right here on the eye. <gasps> oh my God, that is pigmented. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is goals AF. Okay, so I'm just gently placing that right on the eye, right on the outer, maybe like third. <sighs> God, this is making me so moist. Okay, between this and their foundation, Anastasia Beverly Hills has been killing it lately. There was a little bit of time there where I was not at all on board with them. They just weren't launching products that I loved, but oh my God, this... Oh, anyways, I'm going to then dip into this yellow right here, D1, and we're going to smoke that red out just right there. I'm hoping it kind of makes a nice orangey color, which it does seem to be. However, that red is just coming right the fuck off. Do you see that bald ass patch right there? What the hell? Maybe I can kind of cover it with a little bit of yellow. Oh, I don't know. Okay, see, that is making a very, very, very pretty orange. But I remember the description saying that you could kind of mix these and create unique colors. So I wanted to see see how far we could take that. And you can certainly mix them, but the fact that that red just like came off, that's really weird to me. Because this is a pressed pigment palette, pressed pigments are often way more finicky than normal eyeshadows. And so if you're a beginner to makeup, I don't know that I would recommend this or at least practice a lot with it before you're gonna like actually wear it out. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and blend those edges out with a nice clean fluffy brush. Okay, so after we blended, this is what we're left with. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the saturation filter because it always enhances everything. So let's see right there. That is what I see. It's certainly certainly not like super duper vibrant whatsoever. I mean, I did just blend it out. So of course it is going to lose some of its color, but it started off so vibrant and now it's not. And so let's keep going and see what we can do with this palette. I think since we lost a lot of that red, let's dip into E4 and I'm going to take that and kind of push it up into the crease line. <gasps> Ooh, that is pretty. And I'll just gently blend it upwards back and forth. The difference between this palette and normal eyeshadow palettes is that Normally with an eyeshadow palette, you can make a nice clean transition when you layer shades. But with this palette, the shades kind of blend together. They're more on the loose side. And so with a normal eyeshadow palette, had I laid that red down and then went over it with this, you'd probably still be able to see a bit of the red. But with this palette, you kind of lost the red and it created an entirely new color, which is not at all a bad thing. But you do kind of need to know a little bit about color theory, maybe what's on the color wheel, because shit is going to change and it's going to look totally different, but still really, really pretty. Like I I think that is beautiful. They blend out really, really easily. They don't seem patchy. They apply effortlessly. But do you see what I mean where the colors totally blend together? And it's not like eyeshadow palettes don't do that. But with this, it's kind of unavoidable. Like I would really love to now smoke this out with the yellow, but I know if I add yellow, it's not gonna actually go on yellow. It's gonna turn it orangey. At least I think it will. I don't know, let's go ahead and try. So let's dip back into D1 and let's lightly go right in the crease 
piece right here. Oh, yeah, I mean, it is turning orange. I mean, red and yellow is orange, but I feel like I have palettes where it would actually go on yellow and stay yellow. I don't know. It's not like I'm mad about it. You just gotta know what colors make what. Let's dip back into D3 with that same packer brush. Like always, we are probably gonna do a cut crease on this channel. But for those of you who don't like doing cut creases, I kind of want to do a mock cut crease. I'm pretty sure I am gonna cover up all this fucking red, but at least I can show you that you are able to pack this on and get some vibrant ass colors. In fact, I kind of feel like you'd be able to use these shadows to cut your crease with. Like they are that pigmented. I don't think you'd even need a concealer. You might want one though just to help them stick, but still. Okay, I have no idea how it's registering on camera, but do you see that I was able to, with the red, just kind of make a cut crease with just the pigment? It's not the cleanest looking thing in the world. You probably could get it to be clean, but I just wanted to show you that this bitch is so pigmented. So now I'm just gonna kind of blend that out. Oh God, that is so pretty. I kind of don't even wanna do a cut crease and just put like a shimmer over this. Should we do that? Should we break this cycle? <sighs> God. They're like so pigmented that it's almost like applying a cream or a balm to the eye. Golly. And you really don't need a whole lot. Like I am super gently dipping into this. For the inner corner, maybe let's try a little bit of A5. That seems like it'd be kind of fun. Let's pop that right there. <gasps> oh my God. That is way more pigmented than I thought it'd be. Holy shit, why did I not think it'd be pigmented? Hopefully we can get it to blend out a little bit because that looks redonkadonk. Oh, of course it blends out. That is so, so pretty. We'll apply way too much to the other side as well. Just for shits and giggles, let's dip into E2 and I'm gonna kind of blend that pink out just up into my eyebrow. I know that is a lot and this look is like so super fucking extra, but I just want to test as many of these shadows as I can for you. Okay, you know what? We are going to cut the crease. Only because I used so many shadows that the look is kind of turning into a clusterfuck. So that way I'll be able to show you more colors. It'll look better and I can clean this shit up. Ooh, what color shimmer should we use? I'm kind of feeling E1 right here. So let me dip right in there. Oh God, it picks up on the brush fantastically. I am going to take that and then let's go ahead and spray it with some setting spray. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Rich Luxe Setting Spray. We'll see how that goes onto the eyeball. Ooh, oh my God, that setting spray smells great. I feel like it's not the best shimmer in the world. Like there might be better options in this palette, but still it's not like it looks bad. It might actually apply a little bit better with a finger, but with your damp brush, if you keep going in and picking more up and just patting it on, it seems to be sticking. Like there's none falling off onto my face and it is a beautiful color. So maybe you just need to work with it a little bit. Mm, I actually really like that. What do you think? Kind of blend it out a little bit. I think I'm going to go in with a bit more of that red. And then I think I also want a little bit of C2. So I'm going to take that right on that brush and apply it to the inner part right there. Because this orange kind of does have a golden shift. So they should go together. All right. I think I'm actually going to cut this a little bit further down. Take a little bit more D3 and place it right here on the outer corner and kind of blend it into that shimmer ever so gently. Oh my God, this is turning into like a drag queen look. I like it. Blend that out with a little bit more of D1, that really pretty yellow. For the lower lash, let's dive into E4. Just smoke that out everywhere. I love how I was like, oh my God, I'm going to do a neutral look. <laughs> it is neutral, but I look like a fucking firebird. And then a little bit of D3, and I'm going to push that right up into the eyes. I know that I brought this down really, really far, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to smoke the darker shadows out and it'll look good. Anyways, I'm going to take this red and place it right up against the lashes. I am always down for a nice dramatic look and this is definitely that. Although for me, this is more like a let's go to the grocery store kind of look. And then before I do anything else to the bottom lash, I'm going to go in with a MAC Black Coal Pencil and just put that all up in the waterline. We're going to smudge that out with a bit more of that red. And then let's also take a tiny bit of D1 right under there to soften that up. And just out of curiosity, I think I want to take some C1 on a brush to just a little bit and kind of rub that into my brow bone just to bring it back. Ooh, yes. That worked perfectly as kind of like a nice little eraser. Maybe let's try some A1 right there as well. I'm not sure how that'll look, but we can try it. <gasps> 
Ooh. All right, last thing before I go and add my top liner and lashes and mascara and all that shit, I'm just going to add a little bit of deepness right to the outer corner. So I'm going to go in with E5, just a tiny bit, and place that right here. I just want to see how it looks with all this. That was a good choice, and uh, I think that's all I need. For mascara, I'm going to go in with this Hank and Henry mascara. I love this. It's double-ended, and it's got a little side for the lower lash and a big side for the upper lash. Oh my god, it's so freaking cute. And here we are with the final look. I quite like it. It's very dark and kind of Halloween-y. Oh, yes. So the directions did say that you can use this palette all over the face, and I was going to use one of these for a blush, but after seeing how fucking pigmented they are, I got too scared to do that. So for blush, I went in with this Carity palette. This is Coral Kaboom, and I just mixed all of these and applied them to my cheeks. Then for highlighter, I went in with Artist Couture in the shade Summer Haze. And for lips, I have Lunar Beauty's Aphrodite topped with Pat McGrath's Blood 2. But I gotta say, I am digging the fuck out of this look. I mean, we could have easily gotten here with like one or two different colors. There was no need to apply all the shades that I did, but I feel like we were able to test quite a few, and I don't really have any color complaints. Like, no, I didn't even test half of these, but with what we did, holy fuck. Like, I may have found my new all-time favorite palette, and it's an Anastasia palette. Fuck. Oh, shit. Hold on. I need to spray myself with some setting spray. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Smells like oranges. But yes, I've had everything on for probably about four hours now. It is so fucking comfortable on the eyes. Nothing has, like, bled out. Nothing's, like, fallen onto my face. My eyelids don't feel heavy. Like, there really is nothing for me to bitch about. I guess I wish that orangey shimmer shade had a little bit more oomph to it. But I was able to build it up, especially with that wet brush. Ah. I guess the only negative thing that I will say is that this is not a beginner friendly palette, which is kind of implied by the name of pro palette. So if you're getting this thinking that this shit will be like any other palette that you have, bitch, you are very wrong. These act completely different than a normal shadow would. They blend out magnificently, but you just have to work with them a little bit differently. Is it impossible for a beginner to work with? No, it'd be fabulous to practice on, but it is kind of an expensive palette to practice on. Fortunately, if you do want to practice with it, the amount that you actually have to use is so minimal that with this palette you could probably go from beginner to pro and not even need to buy a second palette like this shit will last you a very very long time i think the color choice is really really pretty even if you don't like purples there's so many other colors to work with but being a fucking purple whore you have no idea how difficult it was for me to do a red look instead of purple but i'm really happy with the way this turned out it is a shame that i'm wearing lip gloss because this is a dick sucking look i'll tell you that so do i recommend this palette if you you're looking for a more pro type palette, fucking yes. I don't know of a single makeup artist or even makeup enthusiast that wouldn't get so much use out of this palette. You know what? In fact, why don't we give one away? This palette is kind of on the pricier side and I know a lot of people aren't going to be able to afford it, so... I'd like to gift one of you with one. In addition to this giveaway, I actually have another one going with the Jeffree Star Morphe Artistry Palette and the new set of brushes. So I will put the Rafflecopter link for this down below, but I'll also make one for this palette. Please feel free to enter as long as you're 18 or above, or at least have your parents' consent. But yes, these are both worldwide giveaways. One lucky winner will win this little bitch. Oh, I'm so excited to see what looks they come up with. Like usual, the only one requirement is that you are subscribed to this channel, and please stay subscribed. I love having you in my family. All the other little things you don't have to do, but the more that you do, the more chances you have of winning. What the fuck? I need to close my window more. God damn it. Where is that coming from? What the hell? Oh my god. Gotcha, you bastard. Anyways, good luck to everyone on both giveaways. Back to the review. Do I think it's worth the price? Honestly, I would have been fine paying like twice for this, which I guess now that I'm doing a giveaway, I basically am. But this is a very, very expensive feeling and looking palette. I am totally okay with the price. Like there are palettes out there that are like $120 that I don't think perform nearly as well as this that don't have as good of a color selection. So, oh my God, I'm very happy. But yes, I'm just gonna go and feel myself with this look. Not really like feel myself. I'm just gonna go stare at myself in the mirror for a little while. Like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which does change from black to white, is available at thepoplix.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to 
like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.